Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome. My name is Christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So if you're looking for the best and most honest how-tos and reviews from a consumer's perspective then make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave any comments that you have for me down below. First swatch video of 2023 and we are starting it off with the e.l.f. O Face Satin Lipsticks. These recently launched and I was supposed to post a video last week. I am sorry the holidays got the best of me. What can I say? but I'm here now and I'm gonna do a full swatch video for you guys. I'm gonna be starting off with all the specs about this lipstick. I'm going to do a first impression because I've yet to try these on at all and then I'll move into the swatches and final thoughts. So like I said, these are brand new lipsticks. I have them all sitting right here on my desk lined up and ready to go. I took them all out of the packaging here as you can see. Um, there are 10 shades of this lipstick. It is $9 and you can purchase them currently on Elf's website. I I'm sure that they'll start hitting stores like Target, Walmart, Ulta's, you know, um, all of that stuff. I've yet to see them yet, but I haven't really gone to any of those stores really and looked for them. But anyways, $9. It says they are a long lasting comfortable lipstick in satin finish shades. Reading from their website right now, so I get everything correct. It's supposed to be a comfortable long lasting formula, nourishing infused with marula oil, squalane, and jojoba. It has an ultra luxe soft touch texture package with a magnetic closure. Right off the bat, when I saw the email about these come out, I was like, huh, these look very familiar or very similar to another lipstick product. And the name of it, O-Face, hello, are we thinking NARS? Are we all kind of collectively thinking, this seems like a NARS dupe because I am, that's what I'm thinking. Elf has kind of gone in a direction where they are duping left and right and honestly, they're kind of killing it. They're killing the game. Obviously, nothing is ever going to compare to the actual products that they're duping. They are in and of themselves, you know, great products. That's why they're they're worth duping, honestly. But e.l.f. does a great job. For what they are, e.l.f. does a great job on the products that they come out with. So I'm hoping for the best on these. The only thing is the lipsticks that I think that these are similar to, I've never used. Actually, have I used them? These seem like they're dupes of the NARS Audacious lipsticks. They're also a satin formula, single stroke coverage, long lasting, um, same soft touch packaging, everything, you know. I don't know, but who's to say? Not me. I will leave in the description box down below once I actually wear this for like a full day, how these last. It's pretty late right now. It's nighttime right now and I don't suspect that I'm gonna be wearing this for much longer. So I can't really give you guys like a wear test right now. So check that description box down below and I'm sure I'll be commenting and letting you guys know how they wear. But anyways, let's go ahead and try these out. So since I already took them out of the packaging here, I did wanna note that the packaging does have the colors of what the lipsticks are because obviously when you're at the drugstore, you can't necessarily tell what the shades are let's go ahead and um, compare the color of the packaging to the actual lipsticks though so here is one of the elf lipsticks you can see there that magnetic closure and even the bottom label looks like a NARS lipstick and this is what the tube looks like my gosh so reminiscent am I right but beautiful overall I think that it looks really great so here's the shade standing ovation and then here is the color of the packaging right oh there you go that's probably a better representation what are we thinking is it similar i definitely think in the tube it looks darker and it is lighter on the packaging but let's do a little swatchy swatch and see that if maybe the swatch is more similar here's a swatch of standing ovation i think that it reads pretty true to the actual bullet and then here's what it looks like on the outside packaging i would say the outside packaging Definitely looks more pink. So let me start off with a color that I think I would really like. Okay, starting off with the color Drive. So here is the shade Drive. Oh, actually, you know, that looks a little more gray than I anticipated, but let's go ahead and try it out and see how this feels on the lips. Oh, that feels really good going on. It has a scent to it. it. Smells sweet. It's a sweeter scent. That feels good. That feels really nice going on the lips really hydrating definitely looks like a satin lipstick in my opinion this is very gray 
not a huge fan of this color to be honest looks good on the lips the lips do look hydrated the lip lines are there but they're not accentuated you know but they're also not hidden i've had other lipsticks where i feel like they like blur those lip lines this one not necessarily but it looks good like it's not patchy or anything the color payoff is really good all right so i'm going to go ahead and remove this using my neutrogena oil makeup remover so that was my first impression. So let's go ahead and jump into all the swatches. So we're gonna go from lightest to darkest from what I can tell. And this is the shade Hustle. And then let me go ahead and apply this. Okay, this is a very light shade that I don't think personally I would wear alone. If anything, maybe I would wear it with a lip liner, but I don't think that I would pick up the shade for myself this is not one that i would gravitate towards but this is the shade hustle it's kind of like a a peachy nude i guess i would describe it as a peachy nude you can kind of see those peach tones coming out i never know what to say when it comes to these really light colors that you know aren't really my taste pigmentation is good though when i was applying it and i pressed my lips together i did have to kind of add a little bit more but that kind of comes with the territory of like you know smacking your lips together Okay, so on ELF's website, they do have a little description of what each shade looks like. So Drive, it says it was a rose brown, and for Hustle, it says it was a golden brown. So I would say it's like a golden nudie brown. <laughs> and now, for the shade No Doubt, it says that this is a pink brown. And I love my pink browns, so let's see how this goes. There you go, little hand swatch here. And then let's apply it on the lips. whoa that kind of looks like my lip color that was really odd at first i was like it looks like my lip color but it's definitely a lighter shade than my actual lip color but this is no doubt again it's supposed to be a, a pink brown a pinky brown definitely light on the lips however i could kind of see myself wearing this with a lip liner like a darker lip liner and then just wearing this on the center i think that might actually look really really cute again pigmentation is there looks really nice if you're into these kind of colors if you like these kind of colors that kind of accentuate the center of your lips or if you are a lighter skin tone than i am and this could be like a nude color for you i definitely think that this is a wearable shade i will say going into this my lips were slightly dry i noticed that i had a lot of dryness on the inside of my lips but it doesn't seem like it's accentuating that and it seems like it's going over that really well next we have the shade dirty talk which is a beige pink here's the shade dirty talk that one went on really nicely. I feel like I got really good pigmentation on that. So this definitely looks like a cooler pink tone, especially on my skin tone. Again, this would be a good center of the lip type of shade for myself. Wouldn't necessarily wear this all over the lips by itself. Now we have the shade Standing Ovation, which is described as a peachy yellow brown. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't really see any peach in this or like, peachy yellow at all um it definitely looks like a pinky brown to me that's just how i would describe it but let's go ahead and put this on the lips i think i'm gonna like this one okay here is the shade standing ovation i do like this this definitely looks more like a pink than a peachy tone on myself i think that this is really beautiful i would wear this alone i would wear it with a lip liner i would wear it like slightly on the lips and then kind of blur it out i think that would be a really nice way to wear it again really good pigmentation and it just feels really nice going on the lips it doesn't drag it doesn't tug or anything it really does just glide onto the lips really nicely next we have the shade effortless which is a dusty mauve and honestly i would say this is pretty mauvey if anything i would also say it's it's kind of like a purpley shade right doesn't it kind of look purple but also looks like a mauve so let's go ahead and put this one on the lips okay here's the shade effortless i used to have a mac lipstick that looked just like this and i wore it on my 21st birthday i'm having major nostalgia right now but this is what this looks like on me this is a very cool mauve i would say this is almost like purpley pink on myself and on my skin tone it doesn't look bad but it's also just not really the type of shade that i gravitate towards anymore next is the shade vocal which is described as a terracotta rose this one looks really pretty let's go ahead and apply this Ooh, i like that oh i actually really like this i'm looking at it in the viewfinder i actually really like this shade it looks pretty bright on myself for a terracotta 
type of shade. But with a lip liner, I think that this would look really nice. I like this shade. It's kind of, it almost seems like a pop of color, but not really, because it's still like a neutral. Next, we have the shade Shameless, which is a pink plum. All right, here is the shade Shameless. It feels like it looks darker on me, but actually, no, that looks about right. I would describe this one as a berry or like a plum, like a lighter plum or just a plum in general. Second to last shade is Own It, which is a burnt deep red. This one looks like, might be like a classic red. All right, here is the shade Own It. So definitely a deeper red, I would say. Um, I can't tell if it's blue toned. I think it is, right? This one's interesting to me because it, it definitely is a red. Maybe it would classify as a classic red, but there's something about it. I think just that deeper tone that makes it a little more rich. All right, lastly, no regrets. And this one is the blue red. I should have read that. <laughs> Okay, and here is the shade No Regrets. Definitely the classic red of the bunch. You can definitely tell this one is a blue red. All right, so those were all of the shades. Now, my final thoughts on my first impressions. So right off the bat, they are very, very pigmented, super creamy. Because I've never tried what I assume is supposed to be the equivalent of the NARS, lipstick. These really remind me of the Huda Beauty satin lipsticks that I had swatched a while back, except these don't feel as like hydrating and slippy as those, but it definitely still has that satin finish. You can see where it, it looks satin, but it's not super, super hydrating where, you know, it's a shiny lipstick type of thing. Definitely looks like it could pass as matte. Like if you wanted to blot it down, you could definitely get that matte finish to it, but they are definitely just like a classic satin. They do have a scent to it. I would say it's kind of like a cake sweet cupcakey scent. It's not aggressive. I don't smell it right now as I'm talking to you guys. I can smell it when I'm applying it, but it pretty much fades away right after I like take the bullet away from my face, you know? Like I said, it doesn't accentuate my fine lines within my lips, but it also doesn't hide them. It doesn't blur them or fill them in. So they're definitely there, but they don't look bad. Like it just looks like my lips with lipstick on. As far as the descriptors go on the e.l.f. website, there were a lot that I didn't agree with. I would kind of categorize them as different lipstick colors which I mentioned as I was like applying them for you guys so I wouldn't base buying it off of the descriptions on the website I would definitely look for videos I would look for pictures and swatches and stuff like that again I will update in the description box down below how these wear they do seem like whenever I'm applying them and I put my lips together they do transfer from top and bottom very easily now once they dry down I can't really tell you how well they're gonna last because it's a satin finish, I am a little skeptical skeptical about how these are going to last throughout the day. I could definitely see the darker colors staining the lips, but other than that, I don't think it's going to be like a transfer proof, waterproof type of lipstick, which it doesn't advertise to be. So I just want to be clear on that. You guys may or may not know if you've been watching my channel for a while, regular like traditional lipsticks like these are always my favorite type of lipsticks because I find that they're, they're the most versatile and they're just the most comfortable and easiest to reapply. So honestly, I am biased towards a bullet lipstick. I, I do think that they are the best kind of lipsticks. For the price point of $9, I definitely think that it's worth it. I like this formulation. I would like to see them do more like of a nude collection, you know, like more rosy brown nude type of shades. The soft touch packaging, I like it. However, it's not the most practical to throw in your purse or anything because, I mean, if you're picky about the way that your makeup looks, Obviously the soft touch is just going to attract fingerprints and oils and stuff like that. So as I was removing the lipsticks with this, um, it was kind of getting on like the side like of the packaging, but I mean, it's not a huge deal if you don't really care for the outside packaging, more so you're looking for a good formulation, you know, but that's just something to keep in mind if it's something you're interested in. And also because they're magnetic, you can't really put them together. They won't stay right next to each other. Like if you were to put it just on your vanity, maybe if it's like in a little storage container, you know, and they have to be next to each other, they'll stay together. But they do have a tendency to kind of like want to flip because of that magnetic um, aspect to them. I'll try to show you on my mirror. I don't know if this is 
helpful or not, but they don't want to like sit next to each other. They'll kind of like move around if you try to have them all face forward, you know, like, so that's just a little thing. I have to kind of like put them all a little bit separate from each other while I'm swatching them, you know, that just comes with the territory of the, um, the magnets. All right, guys, that's everything for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Let me know what shades that you're thinking of picking up or what shades you already picked up. If you found this video helpful or enjoyable or both, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!